What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, A. Hey, yo, and now I'm coming back to y'all with another Text Nation Fanta. Y'all already know what time it is, and I'm coming at y'all with some sad news. If you're a Houston Texans fan, Alabama fan, a fan of football in general, John Mechie, the third Houston Texans second round pick of the 2022 draft, was diagnosed with leukemia and will not be playing the 2022 season. The statement from John Mechie. Recently, I was diagnosed with APL, the most curable form of leukemia. I am currently receiving great medical care, am in great spirits, and I expect to make a recovery at a later point in time. As a result of this diagnosis, I will likely not be playing football this season. My main focus will be on health and recovery. Thank you in advance for your support and well wishes. I cannot wait to come back stronger than ever. God bless. Now we all already know that John Menchie coming into this season was already battling an ACL injury that he occurred later in the season at Alabama. So he was having to deal with that. He wasn't really practicing with the team. So that one was hitting him hard already. And now he unfortunately has to battle leukemia without his without his teammates by his side because, you know, they're going to be out on the field. They're going to be doing all this and that. He is going to have family support. He is going to have friend support. And, you know, teammates are going to check in and make sure he's doing right. He is in Houston, which has the best medical care that he can be taken care of by. Now, unfortunately from that, we got to move on as a Houston Texans fan, as a sports fan. What do the Houston Texans do now that John Mechie, who they, like I said, they moved up in the draft to get? Now, this is going to be something that the Houston Texans are going to have to address. Like, they're going to have to really address this need because you can't go into the season with Chris Moore as wide receiver three or Chris Conley as wide receiver three because let's be honest, those guys are not valuable options. They did good last year. Their service, they're, they're worth last year, but if this is going to be Davis Mills' breakout season, if we're going to make sure that this team plays a little bit better than it did last year, we need a third option out there. Um, there are guys that are in available for free agents like uh, Odell Beckham Jr., and that's all I can really think of that's, you know, that's has talent and that's available. The other guys are in their 30s. They're pretty old. You can make a trade for two guys, in my personal opinion. The first will be Kadarius Toney of the New York Giants. He's been made available earlier this year. The Giants have, have been searching for teams to shop him to. And it would be a valuable option in the slot, which would have been John Mechie's position this year. And even when he comes back, you can keep this guy and you can have John Mechie. Another guy that was on the training block that, that the team was looking to see if somebody wanted him, DK Metcalf. Now, I know he's probably going to come with a price tag later on this year or maybe next year i think it's worth it because at the end of the day brandon cooks is up in age he is 28 years old and it'll be nice to already have his replacement on the team plus dk Metcalf can play in the slot he's a valuable number one option so it'll take the attention away from brandon cooks and you know he can teach a guy like nico collins which they're they're around the same age, but he could still teach Nico Collins how to get open a little bit better, how to run more crisp routes. Those are my two options for Houston Texans. And I mean, if y'all can give me some options who the Texans should go out and look after, um, y'all do that. But um, y'all send some well wishes to John Mechie. Unfortunately, he's not going to be playing this year. Let's hope he has a speedy recovery and not just that. Let's just hope he stays in well spirits because this is going to be a tough time for him. It's going to be a battle, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to make it through. But that's going to do, do it for the video. It's your boy L. Noah signing off. Peace. Go Texans.